Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and those of you who know what the hell you are yet. Hop along, PR here. We are back playing Danganronpa. Danganronpa. I don't know why I always want to add that extra uh, in there. But uh, anyhow, I want to address something because, well, I don't know if any of you caught it, but the last three episodes, I um was actually re-recorded. It was not my first time going through those parts because, first of all, I had to redo the trial my learning of the um mechanics for the trial system was just it was just bad there's no other words for it but i decided to go back redo it and save you all the trouble of um, having to watch me just flail miserably and not accomplish anything. So, yeah, I want to be upfront with that. From here on out, it's all new territory for me. I don't know what's going to happen when. So, just wanted to throw that out in the open. Nagito is a bothersome guy. He's like a devil. Puts the people in danger instead of getting his own hands dirty. Better if we keep him locked up. Yeah. He needs to just chill for a bit. Awesome. I think we can get along. You already like me. Hope fragments say so. Hmm. I can think so. Looks like Nikamaru and I grew a little closer. Yes. Let's see. Let's give him something completely random. Like a coconut. Rightfully received. Your male spirit. Um, I have several questions. He looks like he's in deep thought. Hope he's not thinking about anything dangerous. Oh. I've decided. Might be easier to talk to you about it since you ain't an art an athlete. Maybe it'll run a little long. Can you listen to my story? Yeah, I don't mind. I see. I see. Do you remember what you asked me before about why I'm a team manager? A at the time, I didn't know how passionate you were about it. However. A long time ago, I asked myself that very same question, huh? To be honest, I was born with a heart defect. That told me I'd only live to be 20 at most. Because I never got to play any sports when I was growing up. I didn't even participate in PE either. I know you went through something like that. I can't imagine what's happening to you now. I was teased a lot when I was young too. My childhood consisted of being unable to make friends and frequent tri trips to the hospital. However, on one particular day, I was put in the same room as this boy by coincidence, and it completely changed my life. Like me, that boy had a similar illness. He made frequent twi trips to the hospital too, but there's one difference between that boy and me. Someone always came to visit him. He would have fun conversations and sometimes very serious ones. From what I could overhear, the boy was a team manager for a baseball team. His athletes were visiting him. Then what you said to that boy was, Jeez. I asked him why he would do something like that time I didn't understand it all. I mean, he couldn't even play baseball with them. Then he said this to me. Even though I can't play baseball with them, I can still share their victory and defeat with them. That's why it means to be a team manager. You have the duty to support your team, especially if you can't be on the field with them. But in the end, he died at that hospital without ever seeing his team win. Perhaps he worked himself too hard, gathering stats for the sake of the important game. Maybe he already, didn't, he already knew he didn't have that much time to begin with. I honestly don't know. So I decided to take all the stats he risked his life gathering for the sake of his team. My very first job as team manager was leading that boy's team to victory. After that, I threw myself into various sports before I even realized it. My body had become incredibly tough. To the point where it's too tough. But even so, I'm proud of being a team manager. So that's why. But why did you decide to tell me that? I don't know. I don't really understand it myself, but maybe I just wanted to tell someone. Same way that boy taught me. As long as you have friends who have your back, you'll be able to clear a path for the future without giving up. Oh. That's awesome. Part of the way to and return home. That was surprisingly unexpected. Free time! Report card.
Ah, okay. Time to max out the bonding with him. You know, the male spirit. Bonding. No, not presents. God damn it. I don't even know how I'm operating this half the time. You could argue that I'm not, and I'm letting it operate me, but neither here nor there. Uh-oh. Oh, cool. Here he is. I'm like, where is he at? Don't tell me he's going to die next. I almost have the bond maxed out with him. Don't, don't tease me with this. I'm so close. So close to finishing. Yeah, that, that do anything for you? Hope so. Anyhow, never mind me. I'm just running around aimlessly looking for my overmuscular BFF. There you are. Jeez. That's Ajime. Something you want to talk to me about? Yeah. Let's hang out. Spent all day discussing many detailed things with Nikamaru. Would you like to give him a... Definitely. Um, hmm. What should I give him? It seems like my last random gift seemed to do good. Sure. Hmm. Hope Peak Ring. Yeah. It's quite an item. Definitely return the favorite to your body. Um, no thanks. Nekamaru, aren't you scared? You seem very calm in this situation. It's like you have this unwavering presence of mind. It's my duty to support athletes after all. There's no way a manager should be more concerned than his athletes. I see. You're amazing. I'm no good at all. It's like I'm thinking about way too many things. And the more I think about it, I still don't know what to do. All right, I've decided. Huh? Decided what? From this point on, I'll be the official manager for all of you. If we win this match by working together to leave the island, then I'll give it my all to support each and every one of you. Nekamaru. Friday. All right, it's decided. Let's begin the special training. No matter what. Basic physical fitness always comes first. In any situation, you need muscles to survive. As long as you're armored with muscles, you won't die so easily. Armored with muscles? Is that something you can set, get in a single day? I guess it's better to stay active than standing around worrying all day. G got it. That's what you intend to do. I'll prepare myself for the worst. So what should I start with first? Let's see. Based on your current fitness level, run 10 laps around the first island, 20 push-ups, 20 sit-ups. Uh, I think I can manage to do that. And after you've done that 50 times, do three sets of 12 mile long distance swimming. That's clearly impossible. It's my job to make the possible possible. Don't worry, if you get out, I'll do it to you anytime. In fact, let's do that first to fire things up. Come on, get naked and lie down there. Hold on, why don't I get naked? Don't worry about it. Just feel like it, that's all. Just feel like getting me naked. It's all this talking. You're too noisy. Just shut up and listen to your manager. Wow! wow. <laughs> this, this is kind of understand how this might be addicting. Oh. How does it feel good, right? It's amazing! My body feels extremely light. <laughs> right, right? Thanks to this, you now have a body that can't live without me. I don't want to admit that. But it doesn't matter anymore. For some reason, I feel like working out. Now let's start the training. <laughs> well, that came an optimistic feeling. It's probably because of the strong bond with Nekamaro and I form with each other. We'll definitely escape from this island. Here. All of us. Complete! Caught in a rad bromance. <laughs> you just unlocked power of life and death. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. All right. Gave myself two. Um. Mm, why? Why is the question I want to ask first? Sorry, I finished training. I left the area. 
Okay, so we got his undies. Bing, bing, no. Ahem. Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Yeah, Emergency. yeah, what? Emergency. Um. Students, head over to Jabberwock Park as fast as you can. Come on, hurry up. Whoever gets there first, I'll treat you to my special made curry rice tomorrow night. I don't know if I want to eat Come that, on. but God damn it, let's get there. <laughs> There's no way I can ignore it. Jabberwock Park again, huh? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Who's dead? No. Yes, let's go. Monokuma! You better not be lying about the curry rice, goddammit. You can only fuck with so many things. You fuck with a man's food. You're asking for trouble. Of course she's the first one here. She totally took the bait. Indeed, I wonder what curry it is. What's a scientific farm for when you get hungry after you hear the word curry? What are you saying? <laughs> Where the hell's Monokuma? Get out here! Okie dokie. Thank you for waiting. Oh, wow. I was the first one here. That means I get dibs on the curry. No need to rush. No need to rush. Probably treat you to my special made Monokuma curry tomorrow night. Monokuma curry? It's extremely delicious curry made from unknown meat, wilted vegetables, and mysterious brand of rice. Can't imagine anything delicious based on those ingredients. No worries. It takes skill to make curry nasty. Instincts. Nice line, but it's meaningless. Now, Monokuma, what business do you have? However, you should know that I, the Supreme Overlord, have very little time to spare. This is something foolish. No, I will feed you remains to these beasts. You haven't noticed yet? I saw an arcade machine. Is this it? Danganronpa. Danganronpa. Twilight Syndrome. Correct. That's correct. So I would like the long re reaction time to begin. Tell us how to play this game. What's the game? What games are on this? She's totally into it. That's a gamer for you. It's only prepared one game, but it's truly a gem. It's a game I personally created. Huh? You did? It's not something I could possibly look forward to playing. What the heck? <laughs> You know that famous game that everyone's been waiting for a sequel to? I made a brand new game instead. Famous game. I shall now present. Ta -da! The name of the game is Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. Okay. What the heck? That's pretty lame. I want to play games about riddle solving professors or collecting cute monsters. Pokemon and Professor Layton. Stupid. Don't say such silly things. What if we get weighed down by all the Hi, so we got it from Verify numerous urban legends. Player controls the character like side scroller. <laughs> Boring. No, don't miss adventure games. Besides, there's a lot of reason to make one. No, no. Like budgetary reasons. Big fan of the series. I don't know why, but I feel like you've totally tainted the series. What are you saying? Shouldn't you be tainting your face with tears of gratitude? Cast a spotlight on a neglected title. What's the point of this game? Hmm? I mean, it's not like you're telling us to play it just to enjoy, right? Shouldn't we notice the good part? That's right. This game could be is next be motive. Your next motive. The motive you need to kill people. Right, Monokuma. Gonna get bored if the next blacken doesn't show up soon. Could it be? Game is the motive. Actually, the game's theme is a missing link. No we can claim for mysteries, right? It's kind of like a hidden connection. What does that mean? Here. If you're interested, then try playing it. Okay. Hey. Yeah, you gotta say no. It's a trap. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I see. That never occurred to me. Are you sure about this? <laughs> hey, um... Humans who are prepared and humans who aren't. I don't have to tell you which is strong and which is weak. You. What do you mean? 
example, someone secretly played it, that person might come and kill you. You guys are all enemies, you know? Is it really right for the enemy to have an advantage? Yeah, Monokuma's just like the devil on all of our shoulders, kind of pushing us towards uh, the breaking point. This is bad. What should we do? You can ask me, there's no way I'll know. Yes. You are right. What? Margaret's motive would be the hunter, and the rest was we pray. Yeah, that's a pretty messed up way to think about it. What are you saying? Yes, it is. Huh. Right. But... Huh? Say, you don't want to kill someone that badly. Cause, cause... Like that, I mean, how can you be cautious if we don't even know the motive? Hmm. Nope. Doesn't matter. Motive or otherwise, it doesn't matter. I want another killing happen. Killing. I'll never, I'll never ever allow it. Let another killing happen. Oh. Ahem. Hope speak. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Now okay. Then, sweet dreams. Of huh? Sorry that time, huh? It's better if we just break for today. Hmm. Try to think about it more carefully. Correct thing to do. But, but regardless, I'll never kill anybody. It's impossible. Um, me too, it's definitely impossible. For now. Turn it for the day. See y'all tomorrow. Mm-hmm. But still. So I expect I can't believe she actually said something like that so forcefully. Never ever let another killing happen. <sighs> oh, Chiaki. Sleepy. Can't read her at all. No, I can't either. Alright. There's no way I can know what's right. Uh, arguable. Okay, I think that these things, I think I already said about it, it's the herbs are foreshadowing. Biggest obstacle to challenging new things is definitely your past successes. Those always hold me back all the time. So jealous of people who don't have anything. People who no expectations here are happy. They can do anything without worrying about anything. Huh. Interesting. It's an odd way to put things. Good morning, everyone. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it all our all. Should go to the restaurant for now. Yeah. Leave here? Yeah, I kind of have to. As if I have, I left my cottage. Just happened to bump into a certain someone. Fukioyu? Yep. Huh? Huh? Oh, it's you, Fukioyu. How unlucky I have seen your face this morning. I don't want to talk to you at all. It's not like you're going to the restaurant right now. We're just planning to go somewhere else? Just going back to my cottage. Leave me alone. Did you go somewhere? Mm-hmm. Sure. Is it that game? What do you mean? So it's true. What do you have in your hand? What's inside? Shut up. Make sure you have any right to question me. I'm not trying to question you. I was just saying I don't like acting on my own without consulting you guys. Is there something wrong with that? You gotta tie me up like Nagito? Seriously, I didn't mean. Psst. I wanna go talk to him. It's gonna be dangerous if we leave him alone. Just let everybody know, but be careful not to make too much trouble. Guys! He did the thing! He did the one thing that we said not to do. Are we honestly gonna let that slide? Oh. It's only you. Hi, Ginger. Waiting, huh? I was thinking about delivering this. Is this someone's breakfast? Ah, is it for Nagito? I mean, if we just leave him all tied up, he's gonna starve. Like, how long are they gonna continue this? There's no way we can keep him tied up forever. So I thought at first, but maybe it's better if we was tied up forever. 
What does that mean? I don't... I went to actually see Nagito. Like, Kelly brought him breakfast. Jeez. And listen to this. He seriously pisses me. So he doesn't like rice, so he wanted toast instead. Does he understand the situation he's in right now? That must be hard for you. Really? Hard? You really think hey, so? Hey. Then bring the Sanagito on my behalf. Jeez. You snake. Oh, that, I just remember that I have a business to take care of. Business? Thank you. So thank you. I'll leave the rest to you. Right. Yep, he's made. This is the equivalent of rubbing a dog's nose in the mess he just made. Yep. Hey, dude. Uh, I'd like me to sleep in. Huh? What's that right? You can eat some more. Hey, hey. Don't tell me. Hey. You're not going to have a picnic with lunch with Miss Sonya, are you? It's not even lunchtime. This is breakfast for Nagito. Well. Sorry to tell me you're taking care of him. You really mean that? Want to switch me? Mm. It's obviously a little awkward. <laughs> I'll let you handle Hajime. Ran away like a little bitch. Oh, well. Nagito! You still in the murder den? Not on the loud side, why is Nagito inside? You know about it too, Hajime? Because Naki, Nekamaru, and Kazuki at least told me that Monami's the only one we can rely on. It's your Nagito needs to reflect on his actions. Can we deliver food to Nagito? Ken says murder ends up starving to death, right? Starve? <laughs> it's okay to go inside then. Yes, make sure to tell him chew thoroughly before he swallows. Yes, mommy. Dining hall. Not even a thing. Why am I so nervous? Ah, because he's a fucking fuck. How's that for an answer? Saw so him on the other side. He was waiting for me with a big smile on his face. Hajime? Uh, could it be? Did you take time out of your busy day to You're still fucking food? psychotic. Wow, I'm so happy. As you can see, I can't exactly greet you with my full hospitality. The same as usual. He can smile. His words carried a certain heaviness. It's as if a black poison was falling from his mouth every time he spoke, filling the surroundings with darkness. An illusion, but one I couldn't help but feeling it at that moment. Uh, what happened? Your face looks kind of scary. Ah, could it be you're fucking demented? I just came to bring you some food. So come on, eat it. Oh, uh, you're not going to feed me. What do you mean? Well, I can't eat it on my up. Actually, I was really embarrassed to ask a girl. To feed me, so I'm glad you're the one who came. Bringing my my hero. That's why she asked me and said anyway, What happened to my hero? Did she leave saying she had some business to take? Yep. Why you, by the way, I heard about Twilight Syndrome murder case, was it? I have mixed feelings. I really liked that game a lot. Mm -hmm. Don't change the subject. Oh, well, I'm a little disappointed. It's <sighs> not like you ultimates to ignore the threat that's standing. So are you really planning not to play the game? Well, that is, you guys should confront it. After all, oh, shut up. Although that is a good point. I don't want to be by you Bye now. Uh, hey, Hajime. Hey, Hajime. You had your chance. You wasted it. But I can't stop thinking about it. Is it really okay to leave that game alone? Yeah. Free time! Hmm. Who should I go hang out with next? Well, truth be told, um... Mm -mm -mm. Well, it's gonna be one of these three. And... I guess I should really try to think which one's going to die next. <sighs> hmm. Yeah. However, 
No. This isn't good. It might do some good if I try calm, training to calm myself down. Yeah, let's hang out with her. <laughs> Going to train. Watch me would be boring. Would you like to try too? Teach you how to properly grip a bamboo sword. Ooh, sounds fun. I think Beko and I grew a little closer. Ah, uh, yeah. Number one rule to becoming friends with someone. You shower them with presents. And I have to have something sword related in here. Ah, uh, da da. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a fucking awesome present. Hajime, you. I'll never forget this favor for the rest of my life. Um, you're welcome. Question mark? Do you like Kendo? Yes. This conversation isn't progressing. So your house a Kendo dojo? Sort of. Sort of? There's something wrong with that? No, I was just wondering. It'd be best if I change the subject. Let's see, if that, like that probably won't offend her too much. I know, Peku. What level are you? Yes. I don't have one. Huh? Earn levels corresponding to their years of training. However, I have no need for that. Why? Don't people normally aim for that kind of achievement? No. My destination has already been decided. Protect who I must protect. Cut who I must cut. That alone is the original purpose for the sword. Wielding a blade is the truest sense with it in my so. aim. To achieve that, I have no use whatsoever for meaningless levels determined by arbitrary rules. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. I don't really know much about Kendo. I think you're really cool. You're kind of like a samurai. What? Really cool? You say such strange things. But you are really cool. Well, thank. Never mind. She seems kind of very awkward. Is she blushing? However, because of the path I've chosen, there are things I've lost as well. Warm, irreplaceable things. What did you lose? Fluffiness. Fluffiness. Yes. There are certain things that are warm and fluffy and soft. The cat that came to visit the dojo, my childhood friend's dog, and even the finch I had as a pet. Why? But all animals sense my menacing presence and run away. Oh, I just want to touch your soft fur and fluffy feathers to my heart's content. That's really painful. Unless you're just going to talk about an event from a past or something. Oh, then what about asking Gunnam if you can touch his hamsters next time you see him? Might be able to help you out. Probably knows ways to keep animals from running away from you. You have a point. Since this hamster is called the four dark devas of destruction, they might not get scared of me and run away. Oh god, that look is terrifying. Gundam, I'm sorry! Hey. Hajime, thank you for your advice. If you'd like, please come to talk with me again. Goodbye. <laughs> Maybe I'll talk to something normally. Yay! <laughs> I did what I can't do normally. Talk to very cool and hot girls. Yes, I know. I'm beating you to the comments already. Let's see, can we find her again? Uh, da da. Report card. Yeah. Oh, that's sad. Okay, let's find her again. Oh, Peko, where are you? Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Yep. There we go. Peko! Where are you? Okay, there's Akane. There you are. What are you doing all by your lonesome? You need some company. 
We haven't done that in a while. Yeah, let's hang out with her. Search jail one more time for anything. I don't mind if you follow me. Spent the day exploring island with Peko again. Uh, yeah, I'll give her a present. What should I give her? Hmm. <laughs> okay, I can't see that and not give that to her. I did you. Um, that was actually the right choice. Not really, you don't know much about swords, right? Never held a bamboo sword before. So you've held an actual sword, just not a bamboo sword. Of course not. Only ever held toy swords, not bamboo or real swords. No. Then are you a striker or a grappler? Yeah. Hold on. What are you talking about? Explain it more clearly. I completely suck at all those things. I'm not saying I have poor reflexes, but I already know I'm not a warrior type. See, given your strangely perceptive ways of seeing things, I assumed you were, but you do not have the presence of a warrior. Even if you lost your actual memories, you could not easily lose your muscle memory. Basically. Nope, I am not. Is she trying to figure me out for talent? Does she just want to know just what, uh, just in case I pose a threat? I don't mind to uh, fight my, uh, I don't intend to fight my friends at all. I definitely understand. don't fight you. If that's the case, then we must be extremely cautious of those two. Anyway. They know the difference between weakness and strength. They can compensate for each other's weaknesses. They both have impressive offensive capabilities. Those who form an alliance, it could truly be an unimaginable threat. Um. Yeah, those two. Talking about Akane and Nekmar? Yes. No, they were only fighting self defense. They are both perfectly at ease doing so. Yeah. Huh. Hold on, what are you talking about? It's pretty weird that you're assuming we'd never need to fight them. We'll get out of this place if we cooperate with each other. You don't. Why do we need to think about fighting anyone? Hajime, you speak the truth. I, too, would prefer to avoid any senseless killing. There are times when swords must be drawn, whenever you want that or not. What does that mean? Every human being has a duty to fulfill their destiny. That will never change, and there's no need for it to ever change. However, I do not like your way of, do not dislike your way of thinking, Hajime. Pekko! When I called for Pekko walked away without looking back at me once. I was starting to understand her, but I feel like I don't know her at all. Hey! Okay. Nighttime? Yeah. What do you have to say now, Monokuma? Ahem! Hope speak it is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now okay. Then, Sweet dreams, everyone! Night, night. On any other night, I'd probably just go to sleep. No! That's a fucking terrible idea. Why well, would. However, I'm not gonna be the only one. Hey, Chikai. Where are you going at this hour? My Akuma announcement was just made. Well, you know, what about you? Hey, hey. I was about to go back to my cottage. Anyway, what about you? What do you mean, you know? I was a little hungry, so I think about getting a snack from either restaurant or the supermarket. Mm. See ya. Huh? Yep. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Yes, she did. Who else is going to be there already? How's my little biscuit doing? Oh, there's poop there. Somebody should clean that up. But not me. So here I am. Jackie followed me, didn't she?
<laughs> fiction of nonfiction is purely intentional. Oh, she just started up. Nope. Fine. It's already late. I'm going to be late for our meeting. Classroom 1A. Fine. I'll go everywhere but. Also, I have not played Dangaropa 1. Also, beautiful graphics, by the way. Man, you're finally here. You're so late. What were you doing? Sorry. You're angry. I'm sorry. Be bad. I'm not angry. Just hurry up and get over here. Girl B. Bulky ass movements. I don't 6 a.m. A janitor from Academy came to work and discovered the body of a female high school student in the music room. Interesting. Okay, we're the first ones to discover the body. <laughs> oh, that doesn't look fishy at all. What do you want to talk about, girl? You know, I signed taking several photos of her yesterday. We might get a question by the police. I thought I should have them just in case. I'm right here. Um. I seriously need to throw those photos away. Give them to me. Hey. Um. No. Oh. Yeah. No. No. That's suspicious as all holy hell. Sorry, lady. The hardest part of being in the archery club is changing clothes. Well, I think about something stupid again. Gotta rip and forget that incident. I won't let you forget. 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 Never, 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 never. We'll never forgive you. What happened? Something happened? This is bad. This is really bad. Your head split open like that one time. It's probably the curse. I've been a girly. Oh, God. Um. I don't want to, but I'm going to have to. Oh. Down five. Yeah. <laughs> so I wonder if that means five other people played it or five people have yet to play it. Hey, um 
Okay, but my stomach has not felt well this morning. So I ran to the restroom. Uh, got off. <laughs> Am I really a gentleman? Do I have class? Am I honest? Am I faithful? No. Am I sitting? Of course I'm a gentleman. Um Brought to you by Monokuma. I have no words for that. And started the next day. Ahem. Good morning, everyone. Now then, let's show Yeah, 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 yeah. Same old, same old. Yep. At least I'm going to man up about it. Anyhow, I'm going to end this episode here. So thank you guys for watching. And we'll get back to this game really quick.